so they 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 actually actually so it's this 
extra special, right? So there, in the time that Asset Lock has been around, there are some other people who said, ah, I could probably come up with something similar. But there is no replacement for the original and the guy who had the idea, and that's Jason. But here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. He's not just a guy who had a cool idea. He's not just a guy who was, oh, by the way, advisor of the year, as we've talked about. I think that matters to you because this isn't somebody that was sitting in an ivory tower and created this. It's a guy that kneecap to kneecap with clients, just like you are. You've seen this number, right? 44, eight months. That's not shabby, right? Anybody, anybody, you know, feel like that's not a great number? So pretty impressive. And that's part of why he's here today is to talk to you about how he did it, the way that he got there, and some of the sales processes that are built into it. But here's why I think this is really sort of extra special. He's not just this guy in a tie who helps people with their money and had a killer amount of success, created a killer program to go with it. He's also genuinely a good guy. I'm going to show you a little bit about that. He's written a book called The Break It, The Five Rules Every Investor Needs to Know. So published author. Anybody ever watch TED Talks? Right? I don't know about you guys. I love them. I actually listen to the podcast that go with it. He's actually been a speaker at a TEDx talk because he built a financial literacy program for children. Right? When's the best time to start to teach people about how to manage their money? Right? When they're young to be able to start to talk about how you can understand money, balance budgets, all those things. Beyond all of that, he's a good guy. So, like, you see all this success, you're like, yeah, that guy's got to be a jerk. He probably has a Lamborghini. He probably cuts people off. He probably, you know, throws poppies on the side of the road. But no, he's, a, he's happily married. He has, get, you know, the whole deal. Check this out. Check this. I mean, he's, I mean, he's a nice guy, and he helped build this leadership academy in Africa. I mean, he worked with one of his college professors. Actually, literally, literally, is working to make the world be a better place. So, even if you want to hate him, you just can't. It's kind of irresistible with what's there. So, guys, please help me give an incredibly warm welcome, Mr. Jason Jenkins. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here. Uh, it's always kind of interesting to follow that. But, uh, so, yeah, but um, if my voice is going out a little bit, I apologize. I've, I've been on the road for the last two weeks, so I do a little bit of talking. So just bear with me. I'll say, like, see what's your puberty again? Is your voice is cracking. <laughs> no, it's just, it's Friday. And I, you know, but they asked me to come here a couple months ago, and I have to tell you, I feel really blessed with things that I've done, but this is where I love to be. This is where I love to be, is that in my career, the best thing about Asset Lock is I love helping clients, but there's nothing more special about watching an advisor who's got a dream and wants to get to their personal practice and being standing next to them and watching Asset Lock help them do that. And that's what this is about today. This is going to be more than just, just talking about this great tool and, and whatnot. I'm really going to cover a lot of great things today. I'm going to share with you some sales strategies that uh, that that work and little things that if you apply it, it can move the needle. Something you can go home with today and begin to rethink about how you actually talk. So one of the great things about my career is that I have literally mentored hundreds of advisors and I've watched advisors go from like doing three or five million a year in production. My biggest success story this past year did over 80 million in production. I think that's pretty good. Every Christmas, I get a great bottle of wine from him and says, hey, Jason, I just want to say thanks for changing my life. Now, this isn't about all of us getting to 80 million. This is about each one of you achieving your personal goals. You got into this business for a reason. There's a lot of benefits to it, but there's so many tonight blanky moments, isn't there? You're like, honey, I just hold me for a second. I didn't realize because your seminar flopped or whatever it might be. And so I'm really proud of the, of the point that being able to relate. So everything that I come from is you need to know my heritage, my resume is being an advisor. So I just wanted to set that up and just let you know like this, this is what I love to do. So, uh, so with Asselock, I want to talk about what is the value prop and how does Asselock impact an advisor's practice? And really in three specific areas do we have high impact in your in what you're trying to do. The first is growth. How many are interested in growing the practice? We all are, right? This is the biggest one. And so, like I just shared with you, there are a couple fundamental things. If you do it very well, you can immediately see a rise 
just on the way that you phrase something, on the way that you ask a question. And we're going to go over that tonight. As a lot can drastically impact your business. Second, let's keep the business. So I had an opportunity to grow an RA from zero AUM. Uh, by the time I sold it, it was a little over 100 million of AUM. In about four, period, four year period of time, sold it to my brother. And when I went to do that evaluation on that business, guess what they want to know? How much of this business are you what? Retaining and keeping. Asset Log helps you retain and keep that business. Pretty important. And lastly, we help protect your business now. You're about to see here today that when a client emotionally connects with Asset Log, they don't want to lose it. It is like a warm blanket to them going, oh, you're monitoring that you're keeping an eye on this? Well, this is really important to me. Because their conversation and their language is totally different than ours. How many would agree that your clients understand it made in our square? They don't. And guess what? They never will. And if they did, platforms. I'm going to talk more about this later on. We are building here at Simplicity. It's the most powerful platform designed for one person. You. I promise you what we are building is going to help you go to another level. When I first designed Asselock, it's designed around Asselock Pro. Some of you that have Asselock, I'm going to talk about this as Asselock Personal. When these two come together, it is the most powerful
this industry was going to shift to have higher standards. I thought the idea of having a residual income was kind of a cool concept of creating business value, but I felt at that time, that's where the business was going to be. Guess where we are today? We're there. So I go get my license at a place called Genworth Asset I don't know if you're familiar with that. Huge platform. I have access to all these great money managers, growing strategies, sales strategies. And I walk right into 2008. I'm like, would you like to invest in the stock market? Um, but you run into October 2008 with 